So New York City summer streets, I think this is the last one of, this, of the year. As you can see, they clear out whole sections of the city. It's just one straight path where you can just walk, you can bike, you can run. They clear it out, no cars allowed. We gotta get on the side wheel. Ready? <laughs> All right, people are active, active, active. People are active. <laughs> Already had somebody yell to get out of the way, but they yelled in a cool way. They were like, <laughs> um, It's really cool. They cleared out this whole street. So now we're just walking and we make it all the way to. This is supposed to get us all the way uptown. <laughs> I'm like trying to hold this water bottle and film at the same time and it's hard. I'm gonna start showing y'all some of the bike riders. And we're gonna get hit by bikes. You see that? Com completely empty streets, no cars. Throughout it you got some uh, you got some law enforcement just making sure that everything is all Gucci. We gotta get on, we should check the city, the city uh, bike app at some point. I'm sure that there's gonna be a limited amount of bikes because as you can tell, there's just a ton of people on the city bikes right now. Hey, look at that, people even brought skateboards. We would have brought the electric skateboard and the scooter. However, then you gotta carry it around all day. So it's better to just get on a city bike, hop on and off, uh, throughout the course of this, wherever you want, but walking it is nice too. How you feel? <laughs> How you feel? Good, good. Huh? I'm watching everyone going in their bikes, scooters. I see pets on the bikes too. Pets taking walks as well. Haven't seen that many kids, but not that many kids. But uh, this starts at seven in the morning, so we got here very, very late. Uh, we got here around 12:20. <laughs> It starts at Foley Square, but we're going to make the most out of it. Uh, it goes from 7 in the morning to 1 p.m. Then after that, I assume they just let the cars back on the roads to run over the bikers and stuff. Like, it's just they open the floodgates and the cars are like... Don't be like, yeah, definitely come early. Yeah, get here early. We had our alarm set, but we went out to see Dragon Ball Super Superhero last night and we got home late. What do you think of the movie? Great. I don't. I'm not a fan of Dragon Ball, but um, I really like the movie. Like that movie, the second one, it was great. Like the colors, the animation was great. It felt like a, like I don't know, like a video game. Yeah. 3D animation. Yeah, it does feel like a, like a video game now. The way that they animated this one, it felt like they uh, they went on the Dragon Ball Super subreddit, read what the fans wanted. And we're like, word, we got you, fam. We'll just give you whatever the f you guys want. And they just, uh, you know, you got a lot of dope ass transformations. You got Piccolo getting love again, becoming relevant after like a whole bunch of years of just being a loser. No and spoilers. Uh, no spoilers, no spoilers, but dope movie. Definitely recommend it. It's kind of short, but hey, if you could wait for it to get on Crunchyroll, that's even better. All right, let's keep. Look at this. This is what's dope. You get to see all the New York City architecture. You see all the New York City architecture and you could just walk all of this or bike it. No cars getting in your way. It's fully square so this is where it starts. Right now we're going a little in reverse but this is good. This is all part of the plan. We're going to show you where it starts. I'm pretty sure there's actually little spots where you can refill your water bottle. And you can possibly rent free bikes, but I'm sure you got to get here way earlier to actually do that. Uh, we got here pretty late, so I'm sure all the bikes have been taken. But yeah, as you see, <laughs> as you see, we're about to pull up on this water station where you can refill your water bottle. 
Our water bottle's pretty full, and there's gonna be more along the way, but let's check this oh, out. Oh, this is nice. They have free water bottles? Yeah, uh, yeah refillable. Right. You see? So NYC water right there. Watering station. You see? So here's the first watering station. You want to fill it up? I mean, yeah, we can fill it up. We might as well, right? Just to see it. We don't really have to, but we're going to show y'all. It's part of the experience. There it is. Yeah. You gotta stay hydrated. So this is like the beginning, right? And then it would just go uptown, right? Awesome. I know, we got here so late. We're gonna try and make the most of it. <laughs> yeah, so everybody laughing because, you know, we got the very tail end of it. You gotta make sure you check where you cross it. You will get hit by a biker. They don't give up. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? I didn't check both ways. I could have just got ran over. Check it out, y'all. We're at the United States courthouse. It looks beautiful with no cars around. Everybody just having a good time. You can just really just lamp out here. You see, you can just lamp out here. They have the hula hoops. Little spots with umbrellas and shade. And then you can take your picture over here at this New York City. Check it out. You can take your you can get your picture taken at this New York City thing. And it looks really cool with all the architecture behind it, all the buildings and everything, all the bikes. Really nice day. It's a shame that they only do this for a few hours, for a few days of the summer. Should really be like an all-year thing and more time, honestly. But we're gonna keep it moving. It's time to keep it moving. We are sweating, but it's time to go. Yes. We gotta make the most of it today. Yeah. Let's go. The sun is beaming, beaming, beaming. We're gonna try and get on our first city bikes of the day. Try and make as much moves as we can. Uh, it's really beautiful. It's such a shame that we missed literally the majority of it. Uh, we're only gonna get the first, like the last half hour, but it's really cool. We we'll check this out. Ooh, oh, like a big acorn. Yeah, look at that. And they got a bunch of others over here. Let's get on those city bikes over there. All right. All right, next thing you'll see us, we shall be riding bikes. Peace, peace. We are on bikes, on the city bikes. I'm gonna try and ride. Ay, ay, mi amor. Let's go. Ay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, we're on electric bikes so far. It's a little difficult, but I think it's because we just gotta get moving. Oh, sh Whoa, oh my God, as soon as you start pedaling, it goes so fast. Oh my God. I haven't been on an electric bike in New York City yet. This is insane. If you're gonna try and make the most of it, if you don't have a lot of time, I highly recommend hopping on one of the electric bikes from City Bike. Yeah. Uh, you literally start pedaling and it's just like, you're just cruising. You're literally just cruising. Like being uh, on a motorcycle. It's literally like being on a motorcycle. A, A, A. So, gonna try and enjoy the rest of this. It's not too much left. All right, so they just told us 
they just gave us a heads up. They're like, streets are going to open back up soon, so be careful. So we're about to see what the transition is like, what happens once they let all these uh, cars back on the streets because, you know, there's still a ton of people on bikes, as you can tell. And uh, I'm curious to see what the transition back to bikes is, but this is an amazing event. It really does have to be uh, more often. All right, we got to watch out now. We're running through red lights, trying to catch up to Angie. Woo! This is dope. This is dope, 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 dope. We gotta do it more often. Baby! Oh, all right, she's going. She's blowing it. Oh, all right, I guess we see now. We're like riding bikes along the streets with these cars. So we gotta really be careful here. So we just hopped off the electric bikes. Uh, it's pretty much over. Summer Streets is over, unfortunately. We got here way too late to enjoy really a lot of it um the performances were all over that was our bad we just went to go see dragon ball super last night and got up way too late but we are gonna walk and explore the city some more so let's go now we're on foot and it's time a lot of the streets are still cleared out which is a good thing we're not cleared out but you know they just got space so we We are about to walk and explore. Check it out, y'all. New York Public Library. We were able to e-bike all the way here in literally like 20 minutes. Like We got from Canal Street all the way up to Bryant Park in like 20 minutes. Unheard of if you took a normal bike or if you walked. But if you take an electric bike, you Gucci. Dun, 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 dun. Walking into the New York Public Library. Time to explore. CD Day Exploring One. We are now going to walk through it. It's pretty gigantic. Check it out. Yeah, check out the ceiling. Just left the library. Onwards to explore. Now we're probably gonna walk in Bryant Park. Yeah. What'd you think of the library? It's nice. Um, it had a little museum there and two like very quiet areas where you can read. There's just one part that is too quiet for me, but if people like really like to concentrate, don't like any type of sound, like you can literally if you drop something, you everyone is gonna hear it super. Loud. Gotta stay hydrated. Gotta hydrate, hydrate, hydrate.
Onwards we go. Taking down. About to enter the park. It's right around the corner from the public library, so this is a good chance if you take out some books, come right here and read them. Or stop here first before the library because they do have food and stuff here. They have vendors. Let's see. There we go. As you see, they got tables. People can sit. Let's go see if the lawn is open. Sometimes they close the lawn and they don't let anybody sit on the lawn for whatever reason. But it looks like today it's open. Check it out. That is the William Cullen Bryant for which they named Bryant Park after. Mr. Bryant himself, the Bryant family. Let's see what we got here. Yet let no empty gust of passion find an utterance in thy lay. A blast that whirls the dust along the howling street and dies away. But feelings of calm power and mighty sweep like currents journeying through the windless deep. That is Mr. Bryant himself, the creator of this park, head of the Bryant family. All right, let's keep walking. We lost some Diddy. Oh, we found her. Looking for some shade. Found a really nice spot for shade, honestly. Look at this. This is the influencer shade. Yeah, look at this. You sit there. Influencer shade right here. If you want to get some shade, you can also take some nice pictures and some nice b-roll that's where they how oh, they do concerts here yeah you know the vibes they also do movie theater night so they have a schedule but Bryan park in the summer is a really cool place to be because they have a giant movie theater and people sit on the lawn and they watch different movies it's always old movies they have a schedule i have no idea what it's like since it's august and it's uh, coming to the end of summer but I do know that they have a schedule online that you can go check out what movies they're playing and you can just show up here uh, grab a seat sit somewhere on the lawn and just watch whatever movie they're playing I'm about to film a little bit of the park sit down eat some of these bananas and blueberries that we brought and then after that we're gonna go take you to a different part of the city because we're hungry but you never never ever ever really want to eat in Midtown because the prices are just way too high. Uh, you can go to better spots, better areas of the city, find the same food, better quality, and way cheaper. But you know, Midtown is cool for touristy stuff like Bryant Park, Times Square, um, the High Line. But other than that, you want to get some food out outside of here. You don't want to eat in Midtown, y'all. Check this out. We're gonna film a little bit of the park, and then we'll be out. This is where we're going. This is where Sundere has brought me. Sundere says that she wants a strap on. You see that? She's trying to bring me to a dirty spot. She's trying to take me to the dirty, dirty. We have passed this spot a lot. We should check it out one day. We've, we've passed this a lot. Should we go in? You wanna go in? All right, this is like an Indian spot. England, no, Indian, Indian. Whoa, check it out. Whoa, they got all the flags here. Do we go in the right way? 
I think we're in the wrong area, but check this out. How crazy. Hello. Wow. This is amazing. Can we see a menu? This here? Yeah. This is pretty cool. We just walked into a random spot just to see what all the decorations were about. It was pretty cool. Only thing is we're not really in the mood for Indian food today, so we're going to just keep it moving. But that's definitely a spot that we will check out sometime in the future because the decorations were sick and Indian food does get it popping. You know, that chicken tikka masala is banging. However, just not in the mood for it today. Wanted to sit somewhere outside. It was very dark in there. Wanted to sit somewhere outdoors because it's a very nice day out and enjoy the rest of August. So let's keep it moving. All right, here we go. Taqueria St. Mark's. We reached it. Taqueria St. Mark's. Let's go see what it's like. Tortas y enchiladas. Oh, this has a lot of lights too. This is the area of lights in the restaurant. Alright, we just finished eating at La Taqueria in St. Mark's. Uh, food was aight. The food was aight. It was average, yeah. honestly. I mean, the flavor was good. They had really good uh, environment. They had good music. They had the lights and everything inside. The decorations yeah. were really, really like, nice. So the music, they were like... Yeah, a lot of rancheras, a lot of Mexican music. That for that part it was fire. For that part it was lit. But then the the, the food, come on, man. My quesadilla looked like fucking it got made in like a high school cafeteria. Like they gave it to me on a paper plate, and which is fine. But like it's gotta it's gotta have more than just the cheese and the meat. Like it's not enough. It's not enough. I need some tomatoes up in that. I, I like the beans. I like the beans and the, yeah. Just the flavor was good. Yeah, flavor was good. But they need to do more. Need to do more, need to do more. Alright, so now we're just walking. And now we the are just... The service was good, like the people there were nice. And, uh, oh yeah. They were also playing like old movies as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Environment, fire. People, fire. Flavor, pretty fire. Something about it could have just been better. Yeah. I don't know, like could have... The prices were, were high too. It wasn't like that cheap for, 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 what, uh, you for what you got. Yeah. But now we're just walking. Nice ass day. This block is kind of like blocked off from cars too. Just super, super nice on the trees. Yeah. See the kids doing wheelies. <laughs> on some New York. My name is Starhawk, Hawk like the bird, uh, and I've been doing this for decades. I hand dye and I hand paint the artwork, and uh, I love it. Each piece is individually made, so if somebody likes something, it actually is a reflection of what they desire in their life, so they get to be an individual. Yeah, nothing is mass produced. It's all one of one. Yes. All one of one. How long have you been doing this? Decades. Decades. Many decades since uh, the 60s. And how'd you like go about perfecting like your style till you found like practice every day? I still practice every day. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's you know, I was originally inspired by uh, the artwork in, from Africa and uh, Indonesia that's and the Native Americans here. Do you think New York is like a good place for like artists and vendors? Yes, I do. Yes. Yes. Why do you think so? Gosh, look around. It's such a melting pot. It's so diverse. Uh, and if I'm not doing well sales-wise, I'm inspired by the people and the things I see. So that is manna from heaven. Shirts are mostly 20 and 25. Uh, pants are 30. These little white ones here, those are for dogs. There was a company in the 60s, and they're still around, RIT, R-I-T, RIT dyes, little boxes of dye, 
and I called up the manufacturer like when I was a kid I used to do this a lot I used to send postcards and stuff to all these like different places and they sent back information with like a little booklet of like different things so like oh my gosh my first dies I cut out plywood in the shape of a half a butterfly like I cut out two of them and put them on the like press them together and on the shirt and then dye the outline and I just loved it. I just loved it. It was fun, like oh my god, I wish I still had that book. It was like just this little pamphlet that they sent me on like creative ideas and things to do. And then I started touring with the Grateful Dead, I toured with them for 17 years doing my artwork. My first dead show, uh, I felt like I was home. I was the only long hair I knew in my neighborhood. And back then guys didn't have long hair. Only hippies did. Mm -hmm. uh, but I did. Went to a dead show and was like, wow, I'm home. And it was like, I like this. I don't want to end this. And so I started doing more dyes, practicing and getting better dyes. Like the dyes I use now compared to what I used then or yeah. day and night. Oh, wow. Now they're way better. Yeah. It's just easier yeah. to use. You could wash like any of those last four shirts. Well, Actually, any of these shirts mm -hmm. with white clothing and nothing will come out. Like, they won't end up pink or purple. Or... Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, so you don't have to necessarily just hand wash them. You no, can, no, you, no, can, no. you can wash them in warm water. Warm water. With uh, no bleach, that's all. I draw it out with a charcoal pencil on the shirt, and then I airbrush it. Do you know an airbrush? It? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So, And this is all I have left of my artwork right now that I do a wide variety of like, custom I do portraits and And do you move around or do you usually stay in this when, park? Uh, like a year and a half ago I moved to the Lower East Side. I was in Brooklyn and I love Manhattan. I moved here because I have teenagers and I wanted them to be in Manhattan because that's, that's where I lived. I lived on the Upper West Side and uh, Oh my god, then Washington Square was my playground. Yeah. And yeah. Central Park was. And Washington Square Park, there's a lot of vendors over there now. That's what I've heard. Yeah, it's a lot I'm of just, people there. Yeah, I'm getting too lazy to walk it. So that was a really, really cool interview that we just did impromptu with Starhawk Designs. That was awesome. Really, really cool artist. Definitely going to DM him. Um, I'm going to leave all his contact information in the description below. Definitely DM him if you're in New York. I'm going to send him stuff. He said that if you just already have a shirt or if you have like any type of clothing that you know already fits you the way you want it to, you could bring it to him and then he'll paint on top of that. So you already know that it fits you well and you just want to swag it out with one of his cool designs. That was really, really awesome. Really cool interview. He told us some really interesting information about this park that back in 84, it got like taken over, like not taken over, but like there was a community of homeless people here and you know, they fed each other, like they had food for each other. You know, they were living here and they set up tents in an encampment and uh, the police came in here, straight up riot gear as we've seen many times and just like smash that thing down. So that was awesome. This park is really, really cool. People are just chilling here. What should we do next? Let's see, let's find let's out. Let's find let's out, see. let's find out. <laughs> Taking down. down. Alright, we made moves, walked, now we are in Little Italy, about to go meet up with a homie and Y'all about to see, Little Italy is a cool ass area, it's got a lot of lights. We're trying to find some good cannolis, so hopefully we find some dank ass cannolis. But yeah, y'all about to see Little Italy, it's really cool. And enjoy the scenery, you heard.
Hey y'all, we just finished karaoke, just finished the night. This is a pretty exhausting day. Honestly, it started off with bike rides, the summer streets, did a little bit of everything, got some food, and now we about to go home. It's tiring as fuck. We're in the subway right now and it's hot as a motherfucker. It's so goddamn hot. But we almost home. Hey. You know the vibes, motherfucker. Yeah.